Hey, hey, Spring LaFay, Simply Tarot. Okay, Aquarius, this is a reading for you. And uh, this is your current relationship. So, I want to get an advice card. I have pre shuffle An advice card for you on your current relationship. Okay. Okay, Four of Wands. Okay. You know, Four of Wands is about home. It's about family. Um, if you are, you know, in a married relationship, then I feel like you need to really put your efforts, you know, advice is telling you to put your efforts towards your home and your family. Now, if you're not in a married relationship, and um, you you know you're not living with this person, this current relationship. I feel like that you really okay. I keep being drawn to how she hangs on to the child. Okay, for some of you, I feel like there may be some issues around children. Um, you know, and I feel like that you need to hang on to your family. You know, if this person is right for you. You know, the advice is they will come around. They will do what they need to do, whatever, you know. Um, now, for some some of you, though, I feel like that um, I'm being drawn to that child because there's a childlikeness within you, and you don't need to lose that. So, advice, I feel like, is telling you to really focus on what makes you feel like you're home. Does this person make you feel home? You know, and I feel like that, you know, putting your energy around your life and your home and what makes you feel at home is going to really make a difference for you. Now, I also want to take a lesson card. What you need, this is what you need to learn. So, okay, strength. So, you know, as this being a lesson card, I feel like that what you need to learn is to be strong. You need to learn to face things head on. See here? But don't let it consume you. Don't let yourself get in your head. Don't let yourself be consumed by whatever you're facing. You have the strength within you to get past it in this current relationship, whatever it is, you know, is going on and whatever it's about. Um, I feel like that, you know, with what you need to learn about is that you have that strength within you and to face things head on. And, and you know, if you don't know that, you need to find that strength within you. It's, it is within you. So, yeah. Okay. What resources do you have available to you that you may not know you have? Queen of Pentacles. Okay. I feel like that um, for some of you, there's a, a, a I want to say a feminine, feminine energy that can help you in some way. You know, that could be financial. We're, you know, holding on to a pentacle there. That could be just giving you advice. Um, around this relationship. I also feel like, though, with this being um, resources available to you, there's something very important about this person that can really make a difference in your relationship with the other person. Um, I don't know whether this could be, you know, a sister to them or a sister to you or a mother or a grandmother or, you know, mother-in-law. But this person can make such a big difference, but you have to be willing to let them. And I feel like that, you know, that may be, you may have to uh, be ready for some harsh talking from this person. They are going to tell you like it is. And that may be hard to hear, but I feel like, you know, it's going to make a difference. Okay. Okay. Extra advice. Um, hmm. Don't allow hardships to get, to just consume you. Go back to this strength here because I feel like if you're allowing hardships to just take you down and take down the relationship, then, you know, 
how can it go forward? How can things get better if if within you only allow them to get worse? You see what I'm saying? If you're going through hardships, don't allow it to take you down. Be strong because you will get through it. Okay. Possible outcome for you and this current relationship, whatever it is to you or whatever they are to you. Okay, we've got the King of Wands. I feel like with the King of Wands coming out, you know, and then we have underneath it the Ten of Swords. So this is a feeling like, you know, you can keep looking at whatever has happened and it will hold you down. Or you can have the strength, you know, to take yourself away from that within you. Now, does that mean you and this person not working through it? It, it doesn't mean that. Um, okay, tell me about the outcome further. Okay. Okay. So, see here, we have the death card. Okay, that could be the ending of a relationship, but it doesn't have to be. It can be the ending of a situationship. Okay, four of pentacles. Choose wisely to what you hold on to. That's very important. And, you know, that feels like about guarding. You know, it's, it's almost like um, whatever this person did, you can either choose to get through it or you can choose to end it and walk away. So I don't know what they've done. But it's basically up to you. The outcome can go either way. I am seeing the two of wands. So it's like you've got these two paths you can take. Let's get you. Because I feel like for some of you, this is romantic. This is a partner. Or could be. Stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. So, I feel like if this is, you know, a serious relationship, you know, this could be telling you to stay optimistic and see what happens. Now, if this is not a marriage or, you know, something that you are totally committed in, you need to be positive and you need to know that the right one for you will come along if you allow it. But if you keep hanging on to whatever, you know, whoever done to you, then how is it going to progress? How are you going to progress going forward? So, I mean, this is basically about, are you strong enough to overcome whatever this is? You know, or is this something that you need to overcome by yourself? You know, and, it, and it's going to be different for different people. This is not going to be for everyone either. You know, these readings are for the collective. So, you know, if they're not for you, they're not for you. Don't try to make them fit into your life, whatever you do. No. But, yeah. That's what I've got for you. You know, it's basically up to you. It's basically up to you. Um, this person, you know... They've done something at some point in time. So, oh, and it's heavy. It's heavy feeling. So there's pain. There's pain. You know, does it mean that they'll do it again, whatever it is? No. But it doesn't mean that they won't either. Any more about the other person? The sun. Ace of Cups. So there is love here. There is feelings here. There is a desire for happiness here. And there is happiness when you're happy or when they're happy. Um, I feel like also with that I being there, that there is a need to really take a step back and look at things from a bigger picture. And that's what I've got for you. Thank you so much for being here with me. Till next time. Mwah.